Hello everyone, I'm Tommy with Studio Sense. Today's video is completely ignoring the school of thought that says that you shouldn't wear fragrances at the gym, especially Planet Fitness, where you know you're really just sitting in the parking lot updating your Facebook that you're at the gym before you go off to TCBYs for some soft serve yogurt. I don't agree with that assessment, but I do agree that if you do wear fragrances at the gym, that they be at least these three things. And when we return, I'll go over those three things, plus my list, that and more, so stay tuned. Welcome back guys. So wearing fragrances at the gym can be kind of a mixed bag and to help you drill down what you should and shouldn't do, I've come up with these three criteria that each gym fragrance should meet. Number one, they should be unoffensive. They shouldn't be loud or necessarily a banger. Number two, they should have a definite, if not overt, masculine presence. And number three, they should be clean, citrusy, soapy, or fresh, if not all three. Something that you can quickly wash off with a single shower. Technically that's four, but I'm lumping that fourth one in with a third. So there again, unoffensive and unobtrusive. Number two, they should be overtly masculine or just simply masculine. Number three, citrusy, clean, fresh, or soapy and be able to wash off relatively quickly or, or easily. And often using a gym fragrance can help you turn a characteristically undesirable trait into a good trait. How and why? Well, think about it. If a fragrance that we normally think has either weak projection or weak longevity, poor performance, doesn't serve you well anywhere else, what about at the gym? Technically your workout should be anywhere between 45 minutes to two hours tops. The idea is to reach muscle exhaustion. At that point, if you continue working out, you're kind of rolling back any benefits that you've created at that point. Most fragrances can boast at least two hours minimum performance, can't they? And gym fragrances, you know, if you have a fragrance that normally you would call weak performance, in a gym scenario, that's high performance. That being said, your fragrance really only needs to last as long as your gym visit because then you're gonna jump in the shower and start fresh all over again, or at least I hope you're hitting the shower. With that in mind, I've compiled a list of my top 10 quick, easy grabs for visits to the gym. They don't necessarily have weak performance or bad longevity. They're just a little bit softer, a little bit more subdued, but they have a definitive masculinity and they'll bring their gain to the gym as long as you do. My number 10 pick came from the mind of Claude Deere in 2014. It is the OG Kenneth Cole Mankind. KC Mankind is a clean, refreshing, very masculine fragrance, but it's a little bit subdued. Like it's one of those that you kind of have trouble thinking about where to, to wear it because if you want to gain, you know, most people when they go out, they want to get attention. This guy right here isn't necessarily an attention getter. However, if you're in a gym situation in close proximity to others, they will smell this and they'll appreciate that you're clean, you're masculine, and you're getting your business on. Featuring cardamom, ginger, tarragon, pineapple, cashmere. In. This is a fresh, fresh, clean fragrance. It's soft, it's subtle, but it will absolutely spot you during your deadlift. And it's wearing a belt to remind you to wear yours, Hernie boy. Coming in at my ninth spot is the classic 1988 fragrance from Davidoff and that is Cool Water. But not Cool Water the EDT. This is the more watered down version that I think is more appropriate for the gym. It is the, it's called a mild deodorant or de, de, do as in mild deodorant basically. This again, it's watered down. It will make you feel like, it's, this is what's called the perpetual shower. So it makes you feel at all times like you just hopped out of the shower and it makes you smell that way too. This scent is so well known, I don't even have to give you the note breakdown on this. Just think lavender and fresh aquatics and that one last rep won't break the scent barrier. Moving up a few years to 2003 and coming in at my number eight is a Perry Ellis favorite and that is 360 Red. Fresh and citrusy. I throw this one in the gym bag because it's funky shape is very easy to grab and quickly use. It will fit almost anywhere with fresh notes like bergamot, lime, orange, uh, clove, cedar. This thing will work wonders and people may even hesitate before they wipe off that back press after you've used it because it smells so good. <laughs> Coming in at number seven is a soft, subdued fragrance that some people say smells like freshly laundered clothes with a hint of raspberry. I say it just smells fresh and clean. And that is Mont Blanc Individuel, or Individuel. Now this one was my scent of the day a few days ago, a week ago, and I really, really enjoyed wearing it that day. It's great for high heat. 
So at the apex, at the crux of your workout, when you're sweating your most, this will come to your aid. My wife really loves this one on me and she'll love it on you and then we'll have to fight. The 2003 release featuring amber, bergamot, rosemary, and juniper. Yes, and a bit of raspberry, and believe it or not, a little bit of dark chocolate. Yes, again, this is a little bit more subdued and soft for a gym fragrance, but it is supremely masculine and supremely fresh. <laughs> Coming in at number six is from an Azaro trio of fragrances that was meant to kind of capture the essence of the best features of the summer, and that is Azaro Shine. You know, I made a recent revelation about this fragrance, and you know when you make a scent connection, you can't undo it. Like when you associate a scent with a particular smell or a location or environment or circumstance, you can't unsee it, you can't undo it, and forever more, forever after that, you'll always think of that or smell that when you smell the fragrance. Well, this to me, suddenly one day as I was putting it on, it smelled just like a really, really fine, clean, crisp soap. You can almost smell the lye in it. And that's the number one quality of a gym fragrance is refreshing, really directly under the subcategory of masculine. It's super bright, it's clean, it's crisp. It came out in 2019 and it has a relatively simple DNA or scent profile. Got bergamot, lavender, cedar, ambroxan, and a fantasy note that's supposed to emulate kind of a beach scenario with a sand, kind of a sand fragrance or a sandy fragrance. And it does, it does, it works well. But to me, again, I can't unsmell that soap. This to me is like reaching for the best, absolute best soap on the market that money can buy. So really it's kind of like a soapy, sudsy, deodorant type fragrance that is perfect for the gym bag. Now we're down to our top five and coming in at number five is a Versace classic freshie and that is Versace Pour Homme. In 2008, the Versace gods took a broken chunk of sunshine, they threw it in a bottle along with some other fragrant notes like bergamot, neroli, uh, lemon, bitter orange, clary sage, just to name a few. This super bright, sparklingly clean, citrusy, fresh fragrance has all the right aspects and features of a gym fragrance. It will get you attention at the gym, but for all the right reasons. And it won't create a cloying scent cloud like Pigpen of Charlie Brown and follow you around like an annoying nephew full of questions like, why can't you lift more than that? It's a classic freshie that belongs in every man's duffel bag with a gym destination or in every man's locker. <laughs> Our number four fragrance is relatively new to the gym scene with a bevy of fresh and enjoyable, yet somewhat synthetic, but again, very enjoyable notes. Grapefruit, bitter orange, lemon, apple, ginger, cinnamon, just to, again, to name a few. And you probably should have guessed it with those last two, apple and cinnamon is almost everything they make. Yes, Hugo Boss, bottled tonic. It's another one of those fresh and clean aquatic fragrances that's like the forever shower that makes you feel like you've always just freshly jumped out of the shower. And it maintains that freshness even at the height of your cardio burn. Boss Bottled Tonic, another gym bag favorite. Now we're down to our number three spot and that brings us to Nautica Voyage. Another very well-known fragrance in the fragrance community. It is a little bit synthetic, similar to uh, Boss Bottle Tonic, perhaps a bit more synthetic actually than Boss Bottle Tonic, but the scent profile is so well known, it is so fresh and clean and most of all masculine that it belongs in every man's gym rotation. Everyone will recognize it, everyone respects it, and it's a super cheapy. Like this is probably one of the cheapest, if not the cheapest fragrance in this list. Again, it's a bit synthetic, but so is your workout. I mean, really, do you think that hot chick that just walked by you suddenly thinks that you're at your 133rd rep and that you're vocally saying that out loud because it makes you more powerful? Well, she will believe in the power of your fragrance and may even stand there a little bit longer waiting for you to give her a reason not to believe in her. But seriously, with fragrant notes like apple, lotus, mimosa, amber, oh, so that's why she's standing there. Mimosa favorite girl drink. Fantastic gym bag fragrance, Nautica Voyage. Our number two gym favorite is also my mobility quick stupid grab for 2020. I mean, it's ridiculously how often I grab for this fragrance and it's not even that fantastic of a fragrance. It just 
seems to fit so well any activity where dynamic movement is involved. And there's no more dynamic movement than there is at the gym, right? And that is another Hugo Boss favorite, Hugo Boss Just Different. Just Different came out in 2011 and has been continuing to be just different with fragrant notes of apple, mint, basil, freesia, uh, cashmere, and there's even some aquatics in there for adding to that freshness along with the, the overt masculinity. This is another favorite of mine. Another reason I, I really like this, this fragrance is because it has a definitive personality. And once you wear this fragrance long enough and you get to know that personality, suddenly you realize it's become your signature scent. I would say right now this is probably still my signature scent worn over most other fragrances and I have a ton of them and many of them if not most of them are better than this but again it's one of those it's like that beat up pair of sneakers you end up wearing even though you got some Mizunos that were like 150 bucks you still throw on that beat up pair every weekend why because they fit so well and you're not worried about you know messing up your nicer shoes this is exactly like that and one of the reasons it's my number two spot in favorite gym grabs you can't go wrong with this swiss army canteen it's super versatile and will keep you in a cloud of fresh masculinity throughout your workout hugo boss just different as an aside this is also the 40 mil giveaway for this video and i'll tell you more about that in a moment <laughs> Finally, my number one pick of gym fragrances will surprise you because it kind of surprised me just how well I really like the note of absinthe when it's done well in a fragrance. And yes, I'm referring to Coach Blue. Coach Blue is a new fragrant release for this year and it's gotten some negative press and for good reason. The performance on this is pretty weak and it's lacking, but I think it's the best example of what I was talking about earlier. Like uh, at, at its at its worst, this fragrance will last you a good two hours. At your best, at the gym, you're gonna last, what, a good two hours, maybe, tops, again, at your best. So this will last through your best workout at the gym. Perfect example of a great gym fragrance because of that absinthe note in there makes it crisp, slightly green, just a wee bit boozy, but you don't even recognize the boozy in this because of that lightly sweet, super masculine bite to it. Again, it will last through your best workout and then promptly die as soon as you're ready for a shower. So in my estimation, this was ready made for the gym situation. Featuring additional notes of lime, black pepper, you've got ozonic notes in there, you've got amber and cedar to darken it up and richen it up a little bit and make it slightly woody. But there's no better gym fragrance when it comes to freshness and that, that particular kick of that absinthe note is wonderful. Coach Blue, my number one pick for gym fragrances. And yes, it is currently at discounters. You can get this for as low as 40 bucks, 50 bucks. Definitively my favorite at the gym. And this is actually all through, I've used all these fragrances at the gym, by the way. This is not me just picking them off the shelf and then making up a list. This is through actual experience, which of course is behind all my videos. Well guys, that's it for my top 10 gym favorites. These are quick, easy grabs from my shelf to yours. I hope you have some of these. If you don't, I will leave in the notes below Obviously, as I always do with every video, a way that you can purchase them if you're interested in, in getting any of them. If you already have them, please let me know what your experience is like, what you feel about them, or if there are any that I missed that should be on this list, please let me know that as well. As I mentioned, I've got a 40 ml bottle of Hugo Boss Just Different because it was in this list. It's also gonna be featured in a giveaway today. So the question for the giveaway that's going to be on this thread, and yes, I already have a giveaway going on. This is going to be going in tandem with that giveaway. I'm going to try to do at least two giveaways a week, something like that, not to get super confusing, to be eligible for the giveaway to win the, the Just Different. What was one of your New Year's resolutions for this year? The year's almost coming to a close. You can even say if you accomplished it or not. It doesn't have to be a New Year's resolution that you accomplished. Just a, a New Year's resolution that you either put down on a piece of paper, on a list, or a mental list. Or if you didn't make any New Year's resolutions, what would be one that you wish you would have made? Or one that you feel like you accomplished? It can be really anything, just a New Year's resolution. And then you will be entered to win the 40 mil bottle of Hugo Boss Just Different. All right, guys, thanks again so much for stopping by. I hope you enjoyed my video as much as I enjoyed doing it for you. As always, thank you so much for your support on my channel. I'm Tommy with Studio Sense, and I'll see you next time.